Okay, so we've got cabinet and driver. Let's go to the assembly tab. You can see there's nothing here. Uh, this is the insert parts button. So I'm going to select... I don't understand what this is. I think that what you can do is you can actually in import like just one body of the part rather than uh, rather than bringing them all in. So because no, earlier I was trying to work with something, I had it multiple bodies, and one of the options was like the cabinet with the surface body, and the other one was just the the part. So I think that this allows you to pick sub bodies from part files, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to select this, and just like SolidWorks, you can locate it with your mouse, or if you hit the check mark, it'll just drop it right on the origin, so that's what we want. Unlike SolidWorks, however, this is floating. So I need to right-click on it and choose Fix in order to keep it from sliding around. Now, notice it still says Part 1, which is odd because this says Cabinet, and I don't I don't understand that. I don't like that. Where, where is my... Um, I don't understand what some of these things do. Oh, rotate, move, pan. That's pretty neat. I bet. I hope that that works okay for the mobile users. It looks a bit small to me. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna insert another part. Um, oh, did I select that instead of that? Maybe that, that's what in this case, like driver. No, it still says part one. Why does it say part one? It's I don't like that at all. Why does it say part one and not driver? Oh, do I have to rename the parts? Okay, let's go driver. Okay, there we go. So there's the parts. I guess that's like the solid bodies folder. So I named this body driver. And sure enough, if I go back to the assembly, boom, there you go. It says driver. So that's good. This is nice because it kind of brings parametric to a whole new level because you don't have to manage files uh, because you're always you know you're always using the same files, which is pretty cool. Uh, rename uh, cabinet. Great. Uh, okay, assembly. So now I can click and drag with my left mouse here. Um, the mates are really different and really confuse me. Uh, it's got to be said. Um, <laughs> let's see. Like this slider mate looks like if I put it in this thing, then it. Go, it'll center in the hole, but it'll also be able to slide out, which would be like I think the normal like concentric mate. Um, but then there's this cylindrical mate, which looks like it allow it to rotate and come out. Whereas somehow this one doesn't rotate, and this one allows it to rotate. It just the mates are so different; it just really confuses me. Um, so prepare to watch me struggle for a minute. Um, let's see. I'm gonna choose. Cylindrical, I guess. And I'm gonna select. That's so hard to select faces. There a face, and then I'm gonna select this face. Okay, now let's put it in there. Now the play button lets you know where it can still move. Okay, so it looks like it can rotate and it can slide out, which is interesting. Okay, so we'll click OK. So now if I grab it, so it can still move. So now if I mate mate connectors. So these are things, okay, these are things that you can add to a part that make them easier to mate onto, I believe. Um, they're things that like will snap to. I think it's kind of like the smart relations of yesteryear. Um, what I want to do is just mate something in contact, and that is not obvious to me how to do. So if I select this face, then rotate, and then select this face. I gotta zoom in, I think. Um, maybe if I do fasten me, will that do it? it in place. Um, the mates are really confusing. Let's go fit. Okay, there we go. I've got a driver in there now. The colors are hard to pick out, so let's see if I can work out on the spot how to color one of these. So, I've got the part. How do we change our appearance? I don't know, there's a little... Okay, that's the hide button. Uh, appearance. Green. Check. 
Excellent. Let's go to our assembly, which I'm going to move to the top of the list here. Yeah, yeah, let's just click and drag. Cool, now I want to copy this, so let's go copy, paste. Okay, let's drag you out. So again, I'm going to go cylindrical mate. There and there. Check, and I can still pull it out. Perfect, okay, so I think cylindrical is going to be my go-to replacement for concentric on cylinders. And then we've got um, fastened mate. Seems like it's going to replace coincident. Okay, enough it can't. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, there we go. Now, is this fully defined? Can it rotate? Maybe it can, I just can't see it. Let's go to ISO. Isometric. Alright. That's not bad. Okay, so we've got a little sealed box with uh, a couple of drivers in it. Um, it's pretty good. I don't know how long we've been at this yet, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm going to cut it off here, and I think we're going to have to come back and play with this some more. I think it has a lot of potential. I just have to rework all of my uh, hotkeys and things. It doesn't Although it doesn't seem like I can customize my hotkeys on this, so I have to like basically learn it their way. Um, I think this has a lot of potential. Um, I'm really excited about the idea of this. I think that um, having five projects is more than enough for me, because I'm pretty sure that I can save these out to a step file later. Um, I haven't found the buttons for that, but if I can save things out, uh, then I can just keep the dumb files, uh, you know, locally on my computer, and I can use this free version for, you know, 3D printing or, or um, you know, little personal projects. And then if, you know, if I was using it for work, of course, they'd have the professional or the enterprise, and then you'd have an unlimited number of, of, of things to work with. Um, here's another thing that's cool. So if you had multiple documents, you can actually hold down Control and click on your thing, and it'll actually load them in separate tabs which is pretty great, and I think I can load, it's going to load my workspace here, I think I can even load these individual parts separately, I'm going to use the middle click on my mouse, no, nope, that didn't do it, control click, nope, can't do it, that's unfortunate, I uh, can't open it in a new tab, but uh, still, you can have multiple projects open, um, in separate tabs. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. I'm going to keep playing with it. We're going to do some more videos um, and and, uh, and then maybe we can do some more SolidWorks videos as well. Um, this has been Robert, uh, on shape novice SolidWorks expert for all the good it's doing me. Um, and uh, yeah, see you next time.